Hi everybody, it's Sally with Vintage Discoveries here with another vintage jewelry haul on hauling. This is a result of me untangling this. <laughs> that whole big pile of necklaces I had to untangle. Now, no name on this, but it's got this dangly, which I think is cute because it matches the rest. Long necklace with all this going on. It's bold, but I like it. Very nice. I'm gonna try to not get it tangled again. It's the multi-strand ones that are, have no clasp that are the worst, but you know, that one was just a little bit difficult. There's no name, but it's your classic Aurora Borealis, crystal beads, graduated. This is a little more modern, but I think it's really cute. It's got little crystals in different shapes. At the bottom is a heart. Isn't that nice? Love that one. I'm going to hang it right back up on the jewelry box. This one was a pip. I believe it's Monet. Yep, Monet. The sun's coming in, so it's hard to get a good look. But really pretty, really long, multi-strand, silver-toned necklace in different lengths, lengths. Oh boy. Figures. Um, okay. This, I love for some reason. I mean, you know I like the mixed jewelry with wood and glass and this is just wood and I think it's faux wood. Does it look like real wood? If it is, I, I don't think so. It's super light. Just little wooden discs. Kind of faceted. Oh my goodness, sorry about that. It'll end. This is really neat too. This was a real pip also to get untangled. Um, it's got multiple strands of, seems to be glass beads because they're a little bit heavy, but I believe that, that these are not glass. I could check those for Bakelite, but I'm not getting that Bakelite feeling from them. Oh, this has a, a seam, so I don't think so. It doesn't give me that feeling, but that's very nice. What else we got? This, really pretty. Needs some cleaning, but I thought that was really pretty with all the flowers. Super nice. This is a heartbreak, and I guess it's gonna go in a craft lot because I think I do have one piece, this is kind of heavy, that could fit in there that fell out while I had it. Um, I would love to fix it, but I don't have the time or the talent, I don't think, so. I think this is coral, yeah. That breaks my heart because it's so pretty. But it's missing some of these. Oh, something fell. Then we have, I guess this is just a little religious pendant, that super light aluminum. I have just this plain chain. I find it's kind of easy if they're, sometimes they're a little bit kinked and you just give them a, a tug and they unkink themselves. Oh. 
Here's a really pretty. This is a heart that's gold filled, the whole thing, the whole thing. These are the real tricky, delicate ones that get tangled so easily. It's like gold filled. You would think that they were pure gold, how thin they are, you know? This, love that shape. This is really cute. I don't wear them, but this is an anklet. And I believe, let's see, it had something on it. Oh, here we go. Cremin, cremins, right? Yep, little anklet. I didn't know they make anklets or somebody just put that together. I don't know. I don't know. This onyx gold filled. Cute. This one is really cool. I like it, but it's the shortest chain is really short. It's like 15 inch, but I love the different lengths and I love the different texture and I'm surprised it doesn't have a name on it, but I wish it was a little longer, but I know there's some things you could buy to extend that, right? Really nice, I like that one. This, of course, love. I do believe it might be missing one of those little guys. No. Well, I love it. Love the little turquoise beads. This, I have the matching brooch. I always thought this was really unique, like a teal color with the olive. It might be Germany. No, it's um, Bejewel. Bejewel. Is it Bejeweled or Bejewel? Anyway, I know I have the other earring and I also have the brooch that goes with this. Love it. This is super heavy, really thick. NLH, right? What would that be? I don't know, but it's, it's well made and it's, it's nice and heavy. Oh my goodness, these doggies. This is very fall to me. Kind of a cat's eye almost with the aurora borealis and these pale green stones. Oh my goodness. As soon as I get on the video with the dog. Not my dog, but not that it matters, but it's still the dog barking. This is Jerry's. This is, I think, Pierre Cardin. Yeah, remember that? Pierre Cardin. Made the cologne and I don't know what else Pierre Cardin makes. Clothing, I'm, I'm assuming? I don't know. This, I need to find the other earring. It would go up like that. Kimberly. Beautiful. Beautiful for fall. It has a name. Oh, coral. Coral makes so much nice stuff. I guess I'll put that in a single earring pile. One of these. I have a lot of those. 
in all shapes and sizes. This is just quartz, I guess. Hey, you could probably make a bracelet out of that. I don't know, or a necklace, right? Vintage watch, Timex. Single earring. Like a ladder. This is cute. I like the twigginess of it. Ooh, look at that. That's super long. Maybe it was an add on or something. Or maybe it's just old. But I like that. Could almost pass for Christmas. This I swore up and down I was gonna do something with. It's got a little green, I have to clean it. This needs to be open because it's spinned around on there. But I wanted to put it on a little loopy to make it part of a necklace. Hopes and dreams, hopes and dreams. Oh, I found the other one. Cool. This is a classic. I don't know if it's just worn or something was there. Looks like onyx. Actually matches that ne that necklace I untangled. Where are you? Hmm. Let's see. Pretty close, except it has the roping around it. Very cute. Hmm. I could swore it would be gold filled, but I'm, I'm not seeing it. My goodness, that dog. What do you got against me, doggy? This looks like Sarah. Or not. What do you think that is? Jerry's, maybe? It is definitely kind of muddled up. This looks like um, Mexico, alpaca, with some shell. I think I might have the other one somewhere. I'll put it with the single earrings and see what I come up with. Aw. This is, um, I think that Barclay, Barclay, is that how you say it? But it's missing whatever it was in here. I don't know what it would be. Do you think a pearl or something? Interesting. Monet. Cool earring. I like these. Pretty sure the other one is somewhere. Is it Avon? Yeah. I like it. It's definitely somewhere. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, here it is. Those are really nice. I like those. Oh, I got a tangle. There's a tangle. It's this, the earrings fault. These big, weird danglies. I don't know if I would want, as I walk, these things to be like a pendulum. It would be a little bit annoying. I don't know. They're annoying me now.
Yeah. Pendulums. The fish hook, fish bait, bolo tie. Bolero? Bolo? What is it? It's this is like West Germany or something chain. Focus. Please. Germany. Yeah, I knew it. It's all those really lightweight ones. Alright. Not gonna mess with you. Oh, came apart. Good deal. Gold to Monet, you could tell. And these are, I don't know why, but they remind me of some kind of, uh, well, I know they're a flower, but they remind me of some kind of artist painting. Coral craft. Do you know what I'm saying? Some kind of, some kind of famous painting in that style. That's what I'm, what are you getting at? These, adorable. Got some of that old glitter on there. Love the old glitter. Now, I just have to find the, um, the necklace that goes with this. It's sterling, very flowy. It's hard for me to get my hand in here because I have a rock sitting next to me. This is really pretty. I like that set. I gotta find the necklace. The rock sitting next to me is this big, big old labradorite. Isn't it pretty? I got it a long time ago on eBay. I think it was cheap. I don't know why, but I mean, there's nothing really I can do except for admire it. I'm not gonna make stones out of, you know, like rings out of it or anything, but look at that super cool i know where i got this also this i got upstate i believe or did my husband get this to me i might have got it upstate goldstone it's a big one super cool the labradorite is just cool i mean it gives off a lot of different colors it's just so interesting just like when you have the, um, uh, what do you call them? Not rubies. Opals. Oh, love opals. Oh, okay. Let's test some of this stuff that I put to the side for the bake light. I've had this anti-tarnish solar polish for about 10 years. Um, it's like the Simachrome. You can see it's all dried up, but it works. I just put a little water on one of these and rub it in there and then rub it on the item remember this i wanted to see if it was bake light i didn't think it was but we can always give it a whirl now it usually turns much more yellow than it's supposed to see it's not because it would pick up like this odd like yellowish color and have a really weird smell and that doesn't smell. Doesn't smell. Then we have this, which I think was some sort of, could have been a brooch or a button. That's the glue residue. There should be enough on here to show. There it is. I did the smell test. The smell, it's the it's like formaldehyde. I've never smelled formaldehyde, I don't know. So I wouldn't know to compare that to, but to me it smells like a dirty ashtray. So, then I found these earrings. Remember those? Just the color and the way that they're constructed just really feels like bake light to me. A little bit on. I'm going to do it on the inside. I don't think it's going to damage it, but 
even though these are yellow, I mean, it should come up as a different kind of, yeah, different kind of yellow. And the smell too. Yep, yes, they are. It is. And this, I'm not sure if I tested this. I know I put it to the side. It's like a sweater clip or something with a really neat, weird design. And I think Princess Casserole, Carla, if you're not subscribed to her channel, go ahead and do that, Princess Casserole. Um, I think she might have said she has a lot of Bakelite and she collects that. So she might have said too much on here. Uh, let's see if anything comes off with that little bit. Um, I think she might have said to me, hey, that looks like Bakelite, so let's give it a whirl. I don't think I have enough on here, but. I don't wanna make a mess, but I will. Nope. Not coming up like that. I guess it's just some sort of acrylic. So that's a no, I have to clean that off. And that was it. I think I have some more sitting around somewhere and I'll have to break it out. But I like discovering that I have Bakelite. It gives me like some sort of satisfaction. Like, oh, it's different than I thought it was gonna be. So that's cool. All right, guys.